This is how to install and set up Visual Studio Code on your Mac, plus how to choose a new custom theme and install extensions. The first thing we're doing is going to code.visualstudio.com, which you can find a link to in the description below in this video. Here you will find a big blue button that is going to say download Mac Universal. That is the stable build we have now and you don't need to change that to anything else. So we can click that and as we can see our download has started. When it is finished we can go ahead and click that and we see that we have it in our downloads folder. Now to install it all we have to do is drag it into our application folder and now we can double click and we're gonna go ahead and open. The first time we open Visual Studio Code we get this welcome message. Here we can choose a theme. The dark modern is the default. We also have a light modern. I like to use the dark high contrast. If we go up top here, we can create a new text file, HTML file. VS Code is ready to be used as it is, but if you want to customize your themes even further, you can go to Code, Settings, Theme, choose Color Theme, and here, if you scroll with the up and down arrows, you can see that you have a bunch of different themes uh, to choose from to truly customize your own experience. As for extensions, you can click this tab here, the extension tab, and here we can see popular extensions that the community is using. I would highly recommend Live Server. It allows you to run your files with live reload, so you don't have to reload the page every time you make changes in your code. Every time you save, it actually updates the browser that you are working in. The only thing you need to do to enable it is click the install button. And as we can see, we have now this go live button down below. Now we can also see that under the install tab, we have live server. The next extension I would highly recommend is Prettier Code Formatter, which formats your code in a uniform and sleek way. So you don't have to worry about how many tabs you put where you can just let Prettier do all that laborious work for you. If you would like a full breakdown on these and many more cool extensions in VS Code, I have a separate video on that, which you can see here. Until next time, see you.